the ancient bones are in natural burial sites and they are worth quite a bit. So if you look uh, at this table, and I'll link it in the video, the common bones are worth from about fifty to 125000 The uncommon bones are worth roughly 250000 to 750000 And the rare bones are worth roughly 800000 to about $2 million. They have people posting the largest site um, um, bones, skeletons, for the top five rare, uncommon, and common on this site. So if you find one that beats one of their uh, values, you could probably add it to their wiki. Uh, the reason I do the ancient bones is early in the game, you don't have too many good sources of money. And there's ammonia on the planet, and I was able to get an upgrade for toxic environments that either an ion battery or ammonia would refill to protect me from that environment. So I was able to go around. If I didn't see um, Ancient Bones Natural Burial Site, then I got buried technology, and I mined some ammonia, copper, I got some carbon, ferrite, oxygen, whatever, you know, was available and that I could pick up along the way. So I'll show you clips from my getting the ancient bones. You'll see I got about 5 million units and used that to buy uh, the A-class multi-tool that had about 30, uh, open, 30 slots to it. Um, at the beginning of the game, that's very good. So it was worth, uh, it probably was a few hours work though. And um, I probably did a little bit of the Artemis line, maybe the up through the hyperdrive in that. Okay, so first, this says visit the base computer and notice, okay, no secondary missions are listed. So it'll interpret that 16 message from the space station. See decoding 16, 16, 16. So the traveler finds their wings fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Okay, that's the only mission there is, is to um, fly to outer space. Now, in order to save launch fuel, let's warp to the space station and launch from the, the space station. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a distress signal on this planet. Okay, well, I guess we're going to use launch fuel. about a minute away so I won't launch into outer space and use the space be this crashed freighter crash freighter sites usually have a landing pad landing pads you press E when they turn green 
and then you don't do anything, it'll land the ship for you. It'll be a free takeoff from the landing pad. Now, before I do that, let's go to Options, Network, and PvP, let's do no one. and you see the red and white symbol appear above this globe. Okay, the log is damaged, but it has partial records. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log. Blinking, awaiting input. I'm going to get hyperdrive plans. Um, the anomaly comes for the stars, take flight. And a schematic for a hyperdrive is attached. Take blueprint. Alright, it's for a conventional starship, mine, but not a freighter. So someone placed it here, hoping it would be found. Now that requires chromatic metal and microprocessors to build. Alright, before we leave here, let's see what we can find at the freighter. Typically, stuff is always in the same place on a freighter. So, you see this here, usually there's going to be a door like this. Use your regular mining beam to break damaged doors. Then remove whatever's there. Watch out for the radiation. All right, usually you have something in the middle. All right, our milestone is Trader. That's two stars. We're at 127,276, I guess. Okay, and then switch to your terrain manipulator to get to the cargo pod. I, uh, I remove the stuff. A multi-tool expansion slot gets used at the station. I will save that for when I buy a new multi-tool. Okay, then you can continue over. If you look up there, you see there's another damaged panel. So there's usually three of them across here. Okay, you remove the goop. Antimatter housing. Radiation protection. Boing. Now if you use F from Back here, you should be able to see a cargo pod inside. If you see it from the outside, there's going to be a metal wall blocking you from getting to it. You have to actually be the, in this inside area to get to the cargo pod. Okay, once you see destination reached on the side of the cargo pod, I am. Back up, you see underneath there's a damaged panel. There's almost always one somewhere over there. So switch to your mining beam to destroy the damaged panel, and then back to the terrain manipulator. I would use silicate powder to refill the terrain manipulator. remember which side it was. Yeah, here. Radiation leak detected. 
Make sure you remember the way out to get away from the radiation. All right, so that should be all under here. Usually there's one underneath the triangle back here. See this triangle? If you use F, you see there's one on the ground. Head under the triangle and then turn to that. See? Destination reached. we can figure out where the open circle is. It's on the other side here. Ah, you see there? And the last one is on the opposite side of the freighter. So usually I go and cross over here somewhere and then look for it. And if there's any more I don't think so, um, usually I stop after finding the one that's on this side. And there it is. Sometimes they have very valuable stuff. These are worth doing. I recommend you do them when you have the opportunity. You don't see any more of the cargo pods. That should be all of them. So it wants me to install a hyperdrive. Journey milestone accomplished. Money maker, three stars, earned 201,299 units. Let's go back to our base, take advantage of our new landing pads. Left shift to go a little quicker. W would go slowly. Try approaching from the side here. E. And we'll use our new bridge to get back. We'll go to the space station and launch from there.
tell you what we're gonna do in a minute. We have... 201,299 units. Technology installed. Okay, we're on awakenings. Let's go to that planet with the... That planet with the, um... Bones. I'd like to make like 15 million. Okay, you see Caustic Planet, Ancient Bones. We'll also collect resources and salvage data if we can get them. Journey milestone accomplished. Three stars, ambulatory, traveled 15 KX. Okay, if you look at that, the value is a quarter of a million. 288,000. 860. All right, let's make dihydrogen jelly. Oh, that's a good spot. There's another cool ship flying low. Journey milestone accomplished. Learn five words. Beginner, one star.
free stops in ship inventory. All right, let's go sell what we've got. We had 203,699 units. go back to the planet and let's do another round of the bones. We went from 203,000 to 3,767,504. I'd like about 13 million to get one of these spaceships. like about five mil. Tycoon, and then Magnate 10 stars for 2,043,750. So we've achieved the highest level of milestones for money using the ancient bone. Journey milestone, Rambler traveled 25 km, five stars.
right, we have 3,768,104. We have over six million. That's enough. It's actually enough for us to get the multi tool and pay for whatever we need to finish the ship. Let's refine some chromatic metal here. We'll need 125. Well, we need maybe about 50. Technology recharge. Oh, we have all five microprocessors now. We must have got them out of the container. Okay, let's go to the space station and get the multi-tool, since we have the money for it. Alright, the hyperdrive installed, but we have no fuel. Perhaps I'll find answers in the stars, but without warp cells, I won't be going anywhere. Alright, let's start by getting upgrading our multi-tool. So, I mean, I hope to get like about 12 to 14 million more, but I think I'm satisfied with being able to buy the multi-tool. So I finished with 6,187,230. Let's have a look. Yeah, 30 slots. This will be good. Let's see, we both have a visor, we both have the scanner, we both have the mining beam. I don't see a terrain manipulator. So I'll need to bring the terrain manipulator. You know, I should probably just swap. We'll keep this multi-tool as a throwaway multi-tool. I mean, it's only 43,000 for the trade-in price. It's worth more just leaving like this. Because when you go to a new stars uh, to a new galaxy uh, often the multi-tool and your ship 
technology will be broken. So we'll just buy this. Um, tear these down for the wiring looms later. Bolt caster and scan. We certainly have the space on the multi-tool to upgrade, so... Our damage is 1542. Now it's 1728. Our range is 226. All right, we get extra units for Flora. Journey milestone accomplished, hiker. Travel 30 KS, that's six stars. All that walking is giving milestones. I think it's best to do at the beginning of the game. I think it's this building here. Call this second paradise post. We'll just call it Voyager. Are right, you supposed to go to the terminal? It'll decrypt stuff. Essentially, uh, it'll give you the hyperdrive fuel and the casing. The antimatter casing and the antimatter. So we'll take the blueprint. Gives a bunch of 16s, seven of them. So we got formulas for the antimatter housing and antimatter. Antimatter is 25 chromatic metal and 20 condensed carbon. Oh, let's put the projectile ammunition on me. And I like to keep about 5,000. Okay, it wants us to craft antimatter. Okay, we have the housing. Craft the warp cell. And we install it in the hyperdrive. Only gives 25% of your launch fuel. All right, while we're in here, let's grab what it has. This student learned eight words, that's two stars. I don't know if I'm going to bother getting that sodium. See what our mission is. Warp to another system. That will be in the next episode. 
One of our goals is to replace this starship. So we have 56 salvage data. Oh, um, the multi-tool expansion slot. Let's use the multi-tool expansion slot before we go. Alright, in the next episode, we will warp to another system and we will use the probably the multi-tool expansion slot on the multi-tool that we bought this episode. We are left with a little over about a million and a half after we bought the multi-tool. Thank you for watching.